Welcome, toy enthusiasts. Today, we're exploring the world of die-cast cars, Hot Wheels, and collectibles. We will talk to the experts to learn more about which items are valuable in our quest to find the most expensive item. This is a holy grail car, you know. Thanks for joining us as we uncover the value of these childhood toys. Hey, welcome back to Love Nesters. We are in Waukesha, Wisconsin. We are at the Milwaukee Miniature Motors Toy Show. This is the oldest antique toy swap meet in Wisconsin. The first for us, we're going to be learning a lot about the different vintage toys that are out there and what they're worth. Yeah, we are so excited to show you some of the very high value Hot Wheel cars that I used to collect as a child. Should have saved that collection. Thanks for being here. Should have saved the And we're here with Big John. Hi, everybody. How many years have you been doing this, Big John? Well, I'm 65 years old. I started when I was 24. Well, let me, do, let me kick off my shoes and I can do the math. Okay, go ahead. It's a long time. <laughs> and and here's, a, here's something that uh, popped into my mind with Hot Wheels. Is, is it true the, the Hot Wheel with the red striper on the tire, is that the one you're looking for? Yes, red lines. Those the red lines. lines. That's called red the red lines. Line. So, but don't get, don't get too, everybody thinks oh, I got red lines in the attic. For every 20 red lines that are in an attic, three of them are worth money. The rest of them are just, it's certain colors, condi condition it, and anything you see in this whole building, condition is key. Yeah. Oh. For instance, like these are $40 each. This one's $125, $65. Is it okay if I touch one? Yeah, Wait, sure. So, slow down here. Hey, what are you doing? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, put that down. Okay, so that car right there, that pink one, it's because it's a rare color? Yes. But it, uh, the tires, there's that red red wheel, the red so, line. So that's it. the first thing you look for. Yes, that red. absolutely yes. But condition is everything, because like you see, when I told you some cars are thirty dollars and some are fifty dollars, it's all dependent upon the condition. Well, and I think what's fun is, I collected Hot Wheels as a kid. So then I'm like, did I have this one? Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, yeah. Really appreciate yeah. it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. One would also be from from the 60s. Oh wow! We have a Green Bay Packer. I think that's a 69 Mustang Mach 1 for $25. Wow, if you know me, the 1969 Mustang Mach 1 was my favorite car ever. So uh, this would be a great gift. Okay, for you Harley Davidson fans. This is the most expensive item at the table. It's a, oh my goodness, a Gullwing? in the original plastic. So if you are interested in die cast cars, this is the place. Walkshaw, Wisconsin, the Walkshaw Expo. Three huge buildings full of Hot Wheels, Matchbox, model cars. My name is Mark Nagel. I'm a dealer here at the Waukesha Toy Show. 
Um, these are all dealer promotional model cars. So these were available at car dealers back when they were brand new. Oh, cool. And they made these as a way to promote the cars and kind of show you what the colors would look like on the cars. Um, value can range anywhere from a few dollars to thousands of dollars. What's, it, it, which, de it depends on the rarity, the color, things like that. Um, which one here is probably worth the most? There's a few Corvettes here that tend to be fairly expensive. Okay. Um, the blue car to the left of the Corvettes is an interesting model. It's just a kind of a rare car that's probably like 300 dollars piece. Wow. Oh, if you wow. look at them, they have bank names on the top of a lot of them. The banks use them as a promotional item to give away to say, hey, save up your money for a car or whatever. Oh, I love um, that. So these were made back in the 1950s. Oh, look at that. First federal savings and loan. These are really heavy. Here's a Dodge Dart. $30. One of our subscribers Jim was always loved that Dodge Dart. And here we go, we have Barney's Auto Factory. 1963 with the box. Asking price $295. You take $294 today? Sure would. <laughs> <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. So, like, what year is that from? Uh, 60s. It's from the 60s? Oh my gosh. Wow. The batteries are a little... That's just so... I mean, we have toys from, you know, 20 years ago that don't work. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Yeah, these, yeah, these that... Tell me about this toy, $195 for a non-fall planet explorer. What what makes it valuable? It's a battery operated tin Japanese toy from the 1960s. Has three four functions, still works in the original box. The Aurora early 60s monster kits. So if you're digging in your attic, these are some of the things you'll yeah. want to look for. One of our subscribers William, there's a Christmas gift for you, William. Thank you very much for giving us this in-depth look at these wonderful toys. And these are very unusual. These are 1930s. These are matches. Oh my, oh, Paps. Wow, if you're a fan of Paps, that's, this is the one. Advertising. This uh, toy swap meet, it is the longest running miniature die cast car show in, this, in the entire Midwest. All right, so these sell for $55. We have a Packer one in the basement if anyone wants to buy it.
These next two cars are incredible. They are extremely high-end, die-cast cars modeled after real race cars. They sell for $1,000 a piece. Check out the detail. Well, if you want to dig for Hot Wheels, these are two for a dollar. That's the Batmobile, and it's in the original case that it came in. Wow. From Aurora in the, in the 60s. We're here continuing our search for the most expensive toy on the ground. But as we talk to these vendors, they're telling us that the really expensive ones are keeping at home. Which I understand. So what is the most expensive car you have right now? Oh, there you go. Uh, Hard. Nissan Skyline, anything uh, JDM is very popular in the Hot Wheel world. Also, uh, Porsches, like a black colored chrome Magnus Walker Porsche collab with Hot Wheels. Also, uh, famous World War II Art Deco. Uh, you know, so two hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred fifty bucks for this. It's the uh, wow. um, then you get into customized, customized stuff. World like Johan from Indonesia is very popular in the customization world. He made these. Um, the late Chris Walker would make cars like this and collectors would go nuts for them as well. So Chris so the, Walker actually designed this? Yes, Chris Walker painted, designed this and put these out. He only made 20 of this car, so this is very collectible, you know, in the Hot Wheel world. But then you always have vintage stuff that always carries a bigger price tag. This is, uh, you know, an 80s Hot Wheel release. Oh, okay. so. Wow. There you go. Next time you're looking at your uh, old Hot Wheel collection, what are things you sh should look for? Obviously, everybody says the red line. Right. Anything Just else? Look for stuff that you want to collect is my best ah, advice. Ah, you know what? I, th I like that advice. That's a great advice. Don't collect for the value. Collect because it's something you want it to do. It brings a smile to you. you. Like. Right. You enjoy it. So do you have a 1972 Pinto? <laughs> This is Hot Wheel Heaven. These are all $2 a piece, and they are doing a brisk business here. So same exact model on eBay two days ago, five hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Yeah, that's there why you go. I got three and a half on it because burgundy. Oh yeah, a better color than green. That, that's just a really rare promo. So would you take three forty-five? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>
This car is called the Pure Gold Oles. Because down here we have the specials, the Thimble Drum special. These originally sold for $1.95. $1.95, and currently this one's $65. Right. So uh, and then down here is what they call the Champion. Oh. It's a lot more deluxe. But again, it's called a pusher where they pull it over the string. Just when we thought we were done for the day, we came across this vendor selling some very high-end Hot Wheels. 1500 2000 2500 3000 and 4000 dollars. Their Oldsmobile 442s from 1968-69, and they're rare, and the collectors want, and they want the red one the most. So wow. supply and demand. Hey, welcome back. We just finished this amazing toy show, our very first one. It's a great event if you're just getting started collecting. There were lots of reasonably priced items, but we also saw plenty of things for the serious collector. And if you have a favorite toy, please make a comment. We'll track it down for you. We love hearing from you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here.